Well, Jesse, I got a confession to make, and I, I, I'm not sure where you land on the subject, but just so that, so I could show this broadcast on my channel and not, not have the women on an uproar. You know, I got to tell you, there's been times when God spoke to my wife and, and I didn't listen to her because I wasn't hearing God. And I got in trouble. And I know, don't go beta on me. But I'll tell you what something. a beta. I knew, I knew it was going to happen. Listen, listen. Beta to man. You. I knew it was going to come. Oh, no. I got the beta call. Anyway, <laughs> listen. So one time I remember I'm getting, my wife says to me, we're getting married up in Rhode Island. And uh, my wife says to me, we were in Philadelphia at the time. We were on staff at a church. She goes, you better tell the pastors here about, uh, you getting uh, married in Rhode Island. We're going to go up to Rhode Island, and we're going to be moving to Rhode Island and get married. And I said, no, no I'll t don't worry about it, woman. You let, you let me be the man. First God, then the man, then the woman. She said, I'm telling you, you better talk to the, or these pastors here, or, or the pastors in Rhode Island. That was it. You better tell those pastors in Rhode Island that we're doing this church in Philadelphia. We're not moving up to Rhode Island yet. I go, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. You trust the man of God. So anyway, sure enough, I was just avoiding having a conversation with them. I kept putting it off because I was thinking, I'll get the right timing on this. Well, they heard it, and they got it through the grapevine. They called me up, and they called up me and my wife. They said it would have been much better if we heard it from you rather than hearing it through people in the church. We wanted you to come up here and join the staff. It's your, You have the right to go where you want to go, but it would have been better protocol if you called us first. And my wife's looking at me, and she's like, did I not tell the man of God to do it? And you didn't do it. Well, I'm letting you know something. There's a case where God was talking to my wife and I didn't want to hear it. Just putting it out there. But why would God tell your wife something but not tell you? He, God is like a smart guy. He's all knowing. He's your father. Why would your father go to the woman and tell you that and not come direct? He's not dummy. You know, oh, no, 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 he, you're absolutely right. And he right. knows so how he, to communicate. Well, so why wouldn't he being, go right to you rather than have somebody else tell you that? Well, that's right. He probably went to me. I'll be honest with you. He probably went to me, and I kept on putting it off because it was inconvenient. I'd do it at a better time. God was saying, you better call. And I'm going, oh, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll call, I'll call. I'll, I'll tell you something else. How about Pilate's wife? He's sitting there, got Jesus right in front of him. He's got to make the most important decision of his life. His wife sends him a note. You be careful what you do with this man. I suffered much over a dream. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He puts that aside and goes ahead and turns Jesus over to crucifixion. His wife had more insight on what he than he had. I believe. Who my was own that? You said, what who? do you think about that? Who was that? Pilate's wife. Where's Pilate's wife now? I don't know. She probably she probably is on <laughs> Oprah's show. I don't know where the heck Pilate's wife is. <laughs> She's probably, she but, did. But, <laughs> so let me ask, speaking of wise, do you rule over your wife? I I do, but I but I don't I don't let, I don't use that language. <laughs> and why not? Well, because we have because I taught her. I led her to Jesus. I led her to the Lord and I and I taught her and I taught her the due order of things. So she understands the order in the house. But she also knows, let me tell you something, Jesse, I'm gonna tell you the truth. After that incident where I didn't listen to my wife. And I, did, I told her, just submit. I'm the man of God. I'll do it in the right time. And then I got embarrassed because they called me. I didn't do it. I didn't obey the Holy Ghost. There are times when we don't obey God. And I was wrong, and I was embarrassed by that. Well, get this. I'm, I'm charismatic, so I got a Pentecostal background. I go up there to that Rhode Island church. I eventually went up there, and I went on staff up there. And I'm kneeling down there for my ordination. My wife's kneeling down. The man of God comes down after this incident, and here's what he says to me. He says, yea, and the Lord does say to the man of God, he doth speak to the handmaiden also. And it's like the Lord was reminding me that God does speak to my wife. So my wife at times, Jesse, will say to me, you know, I think that you ought to be careful about uh, your schedule, and you ought to be taking a second look at some of these people you got around you. And invariably, I've learned that I, for years, honey, you just let me take care of that. God was trying to give me a heads up on something I wasn't picking up on. And he was using my wife to give me that input. I don't think that's a beta male. I think that's a mature man. <laughs> well, you, you, I and, I said, and I said earlier that women can pick up because of their nature, 
they can pick up evil real easy, like because they they are they are closer to evil than the man is because God is the, the man's God and Satan is the woman's God. And so she, her nature is wicked. And that's why when we are born through the woman, we must be born a second time of the father because all who come through the woman is born through evil. And, 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 and then we're born a second time of the spirit of the father. So they can pick up evil. That's why I said you can, when she's telling you stuff like that, you can pay attention to it, but real stuff has to come from you. Real leadership, real stuff has to come from you because it's in you and not in the woman. Women were not created to lead. They were created to follow. And if you notice that whenever the woman is leading the home or the schools or the churches or government or police departments or anywhere where she's in leadership, all hell comes through. The gates of hell is open. That's one of the reasons why we're having uh, homosexuals being accepted as normal, lesbian, lesbian, and boy body parts and all that stuff been taken off now because the women are taking over and because their heart, their, their uh, spirit is of their father, the devil, they're emotional, they are illogical, and so they are agreeing with the hell coming in because that's who they, they are until they're born again of the Father. If men were in control, I guarantee you, these things would not be happening. And, the, and the woman must return to her father as well, so God can give her a clear and a logical mind. Other than that, her mindset is her father, the devil. So be careful what you listen to, man. Amen. And I, do, and I agree with you on the fact that the leadership is supposed the man's got a responsibility yep. to lead. Yep. And, and that the reason why I think that you've got more women going to church than men is because we don't have more men that are manly in the pulpit attracting men. Or We're in the home. So women are looking for the love of a father, and instead of getting love of the father, she gets screwed. Well, that's right. And I'll tell you something else which really bothers me. The Apostle Paul... He gets labeled as a, um, I don't know what the word is, but he, he, he takes a bad rap because he'll say that the devil will go after and take captive silly women who are led by diverse lusts. Yep. And they heap up to themselves teachers. So in the Internet age, I got more, I got more problems that are difficult to deal with because I say I don't pasture but I got nearly a million people in my audience and I got a hundred thousand a day listening to me. So it's almost like rush a, mi a miniature rush Limbaugh audience. And I realized I'm kind of shepherding these people, but I noticed something. The women are attracted to internet personalities, the feminine prophetic type guys, the guys that are more, that aren't man, that aren't strong, but they appeal to the women who are taken captive. I think, by the allure, the charm of these internet ministries. And then they're always writing to me, telling me about, you know, they're watching them all day. And I'm thinking, man, what did you, what, how much time do you got every day to be running around just sitting on the internet watching these, everybody talk? Yeah. Le silly women led captive is a literal reality, more so than silly men led captive. Yeah. And the reason for that is because, and you probably already noticed, but the reason is, because man is created in the image of God and the woman is created in the image of man, but now Satan is her daddy. So that spirit in the woman hate the image of God. And so as, when they can degrade men, and it's not them, but it's that spirit that's working through them, that anger. Anger is evil. So that anger, which is the nature of the devil, hate the image of God. They hate men. And so the devil uses the woman to try to weaken the man, turn him into a drag queen, embarrass him, degrade him, because the spirit of the devil hate the image of God. And men are the image. Even beta males, they're still the image of God. They've just been turned away from the Father. And that's why men have to stand up, return to the Father, so they can help bring the woman out of the hell that she's in. We, we got to see. I'm praying that this Malachi verse happens where, G, where Malachi says that I'm going to send Elijah who will turn the hearts of the fathers yeah. to the children. No, notice it's the fathers, not the mothers. 
I'm going to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and children to their fathers, yep. lest I strike the earth with a curse. The collapse of the family and the collapse of fathers is the is the indication that we've got drag queens and and transgender contagiousness going on with Gen Zs. 